Bald head and skid old diddle. Ain't got no hair in the middle. Peanut butter, VC cup. You know your head fucked up. I'm just obnoxious. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. It's Scandalex here. And I'm taking you guys with me for the next few days while we do who knows what, Lord knows what. So, if you cannot tell, I need to get this hair right before we do anything. And then we're gonna go, I don't know, I want some Crocs. It's like really random, but I don't have any Crocs and I feel like everyone just needs to have at least one pair of Crocs. So I'm gonna put my hair on and then we got some other things to do. I don't know. It's what's today? Tuesday. We're gonna be vlogging all week. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, notifications, all that. I'm not playing with y'all no more. Okay, let's get into it. This hair should be easy. Shout out to Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I have to grab another battery and then I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom with me. So we can zoom my hair. Ooh. Okay, so like I was saying, shout out to Beauty Forever for sending over this wig. Y'all, these hair companies have been not harassing me, but they have been wanting me to try out this headband wig so bad. So I was finally like, okay, whatever, let me try out this headband wig that they want me to try out so bad. So it's basically like a half wig. If you guys can see, there's like it's hair and then it's like this headband thing at the front that I'm guessing you cover. So this is where the lace would be. But they said, no, just kidding, no lace. We're gonna put this cloth here. <laughs> it's so innovative, like honestly, like I'm not even like, I'm not even joking, like this is really funny. Okay, so let me go ahead and snap this on. This, this is so easy. This is like, this is the type of hairstyle you need when you don't feel like doing anything but you don't, ooh, okay, okay. So you just put it on like that and then you snap it, not snap it, but just like, oh, this is dumb easy. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> that is so simple. Oh, sh and then I guess all you have to do, they sent me over so many headbands, but I think I'm gonna use one of my headbands that I have in my closet. They literally, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they sent me over six headbands. <laughs> they were like, listen, we're gonna make sure you have a headband for every day of the week, okay? They all look the same, but then there's like this one that's like a darker blue. So like I said, I think I'm gonna use one of the, I have a headband that I wanna use. Okay, let me, let me get that out of my closet. And all you have to do is like fold the headband how you want it and then slap it on. I was low key sleeping on this headband wig. Like I said, they reached out maybe 10 times. So many different hair companies. <gasps> but I was finally like, you know what? Let me try this headband wig out. Ugh. Wait, it has to be bigger than this though. Guys, I actually like this. Oh my gosh, it is actually so simple and so cute. And then I can just put my baby hairs down. So no one can tell it's a wig, my baby hairs. Yo, oh my God. And then I'm gonna wet it. I think this is a water wave wig. It's actually dumb soft. Beauty Forever always has nice hair. Like I love hair from Beauty Forever. And then, Oh my God, it's so soft. I almost want to just leave it curly like this. This is so pretty. So check my description box. Everything is going to be linked in the description box. I am going to wet it just a little bit just to flatten it up some because it is like really big. They might be on to something, okay? If you don't feel like doing your lace, if you're tired of glue, and you're looking for something that you can literally do in three minutes, tops. This little thing will come in handy for sure. You wanna run to the grocery store real quick, you wanna run out and get some hookah, get a drink real quick, but your hair looks like shit. <gasps> Just throw this on, oh my gosh. So this is the Beauty Forever headband wig. Super easy, super cute. Check my description box if you're interested. And let's go, we're about to go run some errands because now I'm ready, hair is ready, hair is done. Like, hair is done. That was so easy. Wow. 
put the Crocs location in. It is 43 minutes from here. If you think I'm driving 43 minutes for some Crocs, girl. Why is it 43 minutes? Is it 43 minutes because it's traffic or is it just 43? Oh, it's dumb traffic. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, it is 3.30. Me trying to go somewhere at 3.30 is such a rookie move in Atlanta because it's really just be in traffic everywhere. Okay, so that's a dub. But instead, okay, what can I do instead? Let me go grab, I have to go to the dry cleaners. Why I look like a ghost right now? My camera better get it together quick. There we go, what the hell? Let me break it down to make sure y'all see what I mean. Let's say just someone minding up. Oh my gosh, I really don't have a mask. Where is my mask? Oh, oh my gosh, I was about to be so annoyed. I need a new mask because this be clashing with my shit. And I don't have any ears because I have a headband wig on and it's covering my ears. Hey y'all, what you want, girl? What's up, my good sis? What's up, you got some bangs? <laughs> Those are cute, you cut them? Yeah, I cut them. Yourself? Now I'm about to go fix them up and take a picture. You always trying to fix them up and take a picture. I'm weak. They're cute though. You look so Asian with bangs. What are you doing? Nothing about to go to dry cleaners, pick my clothes up. You want to say hi to my YouTube? Hi, YouTube. They said hey. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's what I get because I'm about to talk shit. Um, I just don't understand why it takes a week to dry clean two shirts. I ain't never coming back to this dry cleaners. Ever. Okay. I'll be back on Thursday to get my dry clean. Alright y'all. It's later in the evening as you can see. And my friends talked me into getting my very own hookah. And I was not gonna put a hookah in my house because I didn't wanna get addicted to hookah because hookah is tobacco. And tobacco is addictive. So I don't wanna be in my house like, oh, I need a hookah, I need to smoke, like no. But I do enjoy hookah every now and then. And then I tweeted, <laughs> and then I tweeted that I wanna get a hookah but I don't wanna get addicted. And then Ariana, she said, you live in Atlanta now, having a hookah at home is a rite of passage. And that's so right, cause you know Atlanta motherfuckers love hookahs. So I'm about to just go get one, like just to have it. Even when I have people over, we can smoke hookah, have drinks. You know, so I'm about to go get me a hookah. My TD Bank is on what? My TD Bank is on Kylie. How much money y'all think Kylie got in the bank? Like just in a checking account. That ain't none of my business, but I just be wanting to know like, millionaires, do they keep all their millions of dollars in their checking accounts? Do they have $12 million in their, on their like debit card? Or do they have like shit split up in different bank accounts? Like, <laughs> one day when I'm rich, I don't know, but these are questions I need answers to, okay? And it was so random. See, I need a gun because they should have everything I need though. Just want a hookah. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. I cannot resist. I got this cute, I need to be careful because these coals are really hot. This cute little petite hookah. I blame Bijan. Bijan, I blame you. I'm not supposed to have no hookah in my house. But it is what it is. I also got a package from Amazon, but that's like every day. I forgot what I ordered, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Tell me why I needed, I didn't know it came with so many. These are hair scrunchies. If you see my last vlog, I was wearing a hair scrunchie 
that I got from the hair store. But I ordered more off Amazon because they didn't have all the colors I wanted. But this is literally like 200 scratches. <laughs> Yo, someone needs to take my Amazon account because I really just be getting anything. I must have been, I must have been drunk. There's literally like a million. I want to do something you know, fun tomorrow. Fresh out of the so, so I just signed myself up for hot yoga. Until you realize it was all Have you fun. guys ever been? Is it fun? I've never done There's yoga before. Only one way That's the thing. I've never done yoga. Least, and and it's not just regular yoga. Sure. It's hot it's yoga at that. And, and I'm thinking maybe I should have just started with regular yoga, yoga instead of just like jumping all into hot yoga. Because I heard it could be intense. But I mean, why not? <laughs> I might have just made a mistake. We'll see tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day. It's Wednesday. I was actually out this morning. Got my nails done. Black, because it's spooky season, bitch. And then now I'm at TJ Maxx because... Y'all know I booked that hot yoga and I can only imagine that I need my own yoga mat, right? I don't want to use someone's yoga mat. A used yoga mat with all your hot, sweaty... I can only imagine. Oh, we have so many to choose from. Which one do I want? This green one's pretty zen. I like the mint one though. This mint one. Mint or green? I think I'll just do mint. It's cute. I got some new cute Crocs, guys. And then I got a million stickers. I got a million little charms. Cause how can you get Crocs without charms? That's really why I wanted them to decorate them. Like, but I'm about to put my charms in it and then I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done. So look at my Crocs, super cute. One says fuck off. Honestly, I was trying to just get my name and be a good girl, but they didn't have an E, so I just had to figure something else out, and they actually came out cute. And then my white pair, so cute. All these individual stickers. I didn't know they had all these cute ones. I want some more cute ones. Now I got some house slippers. Super cute. Y'all, so I just got back from hot yoga. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> like... I'm sorry, first of all, they wouldn't let me record, you know. There was like no phones, I was like, okay. But let me tell you guys, like, you know it's named hot yoga, of course. But I walked into that hole, it was literally like 115 degrees, like I'm not joking, it felt like Palm Springs all over again. But I could tell, because as soon as I walked in, as soon as I walked in, the lady at the front desk, she was like a wet dog. Like I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even trying to talk shit. Like, I could just tell it was about to get real because her hair was like stuck to her neck and stuff. And I was like, ooh, child. I'm about to be in here sweating. So, yeah, that was that when I got in there. Yoga's low key difficult. Like, yoga's low key, like, borderline hard. Like, it's a good stretch, but it's also a good workout. And then I was just like dripping sweat. Like, my back, my face. My face never sweat. Like, I'm not a sweaty person. Like, even when I work out, like, even when I worked out with my personal trainer in the past, so like, I'm not a sweater. But let me tell you, this class had me drenched. Like, my clothes are actually damp. It's disgusting. But if you're in the Atlanta area and you're into yoga and you want to try out hot yoga, it's called Be Hot Yoga Studio. And it was only $21 for the first class. And then I signed up for a month's worth of classes for, like, $60. $60. So a month's worth of classes for $60 is not bad. So I'm, I'm gonna be going back cause it's a good workout. I'm gonna be good. Cause y'all know I work out to eat what I want. Like, cause y'all probably be on my vlogs like, fish, you be eating scampi at 12 o'clock at night. Like how you plan on losing weight? But 
I work out to balance everything out so I can still eat what I want and work out so I don't become Oompa Loompa because I'm only 5'3", so I can't gain no more weight, period. Okay, so now in my last vlog, I was telling you guys about the eucalyptus and how I want to put it in my shower. So let me, maybe there's a YouTube video on how to do this correctly. And then someone has said on my last vlog that these bring gnats. The first gnat I see in my shower, cause I hate gnats. So, y'all know how to do this. Let me just YouTube it. You can make a sharp pair of scissors. And if you have pretty shears, you can use those as well. But if not, then your scissors will be fine. Ciao. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove some of the leaves from the bottom of each branch. And I'm doing this six to seven inches from the bottom. I mean, that looks like it's already done, right? And you wanna do the same thing to every branch. Okay, slow down, sis. Once you've done that, you can clean up your workspace, and then you want to arrange the branches in a way that looks nice to you. I'm just pulling them together by the bottom and arranging them until it looks how I want it to look. Okay. Okay, y'all, it actually worked pretty well. We are in my shower, and okay. I am just going to attach this to my shower head. Okay. Everyone's shower is different, right. so you kind of have to figure out what works best for your shower. Exactly. For mine, I like to wrap the twine around this kind of rod as many times as possible. But if your shower doesn't look like this, then you can just no, attach this. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with my shower. My shower is way different. Come on, y'all. I got to figure this out. We're going to move in. the next day Thursday I'm gonna get my hair done I'm gonna get one of them long braids I think those are cute but I don't know I think having to come with your hair washed and blow-dried is is a scam like especially if you have a salon like it's one thing if you're doing hair out of your own house like I get not wanting to wash hair but if I'm paying a hundred and fifty dollars for a ponytail and you in a salon, but you can't wash my hair. I don't know, make it make sense if there's any hairstylist watching. Make it make sense, sis. Like, why do I gotta wash my own hair? Blow dry my own hair, flat iron my own hair. <clears throat> but that's what I'm doing now. My appointment's in an hour and I gotta wash my hair. So it's only a few hours later, but I got my braids on. Uh, <laughs> it's cute, it's really long guys. Like it's like down on my kneecaps. It's super long. But it's cute for the next few days. Okay, but swing that hope. But um, I filmed my full house tour, full apartment tour earlier. So if you have not watched that already, go check it out. That light is like so annoying in the background. So make sure you go check that out if you have not already watched it. You can watch my full apartment tour. But I just ate dinner. I had some leftover, I'm looking at my head from the front and there's no proof that there's hair back there. There's no proof that there's anything back there. So when someone sees me, they're probably gonna be like, oh, she's cute, but she's bald. So I'm always try to like have my head turned to the side. I'm like, nah, there's a brain back there. 
now I have to pack. I'm going home tomorrow. I really hate packing, y'all. Like, but it's not like I'm going on vacation. I'm just going home. Like, honestly, I can pack three sweatshirts, a pair of jeans, and I'm good. And I'm only going for three days. I didn't even book a flight. Nine o'clock at night, did not book a flight yet. Did not pack my bag. So those are things I need to get together. I need to get my life in order. And then I'll be headed out to the airport tomorrow. I'm gonna take you guys home with me. You can see Pena, you can see my family. Let me go pack my bag. done that was super easy because I told you I'm only going for really two and a half days because I'm gonna get there Friday tomorrow evening I'm staying Saturday Sunday and then I'm trying to leave Monday like I'm trying to get in and out I'm trying to get in and out <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna probably edit start editing this vlog or the house tour and watch this documentary it's called the social what is this called social oh it's called the social dilemma jackie Ina just got sidetracked and i was watching a jackie Ina video she was talking about how to fix your algorithm on instagram and on youtube and it was interesting and then she was talking about this documentary she said it was interesting and she's basically talking about how biased these um these platforms are so i want to go ahead and get some knowledge in i love documentaries so i'm gonna go ahead and watch this one i'll let you guys know if it's good and if it's worth watching later but i'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow before my flight so good night good morning guys friday morning i'm about to be headed to the airport my flight leaves at 11 30. it's 9 30. just making myself some bacon and waffles so yeah breakfast and then it's gonna be a long day i don't even get home until five o'clock in the afternoon that is eight hours of traveling i could have drove for all of that so you know how travel days are i don't like to really vlog in the airport but um i'll meet you guys when i get home so it's the next day i've been home i just i didn't vlog when i got home yesterday because i just want to chill out but now the whole reason I came home was for my parents' 25th anniversary. Like, we're celebrating that. So that's what we're doing today. Me and my sister are about to, because we have to have it at the house. We would like to have a big, huge celebration for them. But since, you know, it's coronavirus, we can't have a huge gathering. You know, people get sick. We have older relatives. We just didn't want to chance it. So we're going to have a nice, intimate evening. So we're gonna make the house look really nice. Me and my sister. Ari, do you wanna say hi? hi? That's my oldest sister. We are putting together floral arrangements for them. In the kitchen, we actually, me and my sister got a private chef experience for them. So they have a, we have a whole team in the kitchen right now throwing together dinner. It's gonna be so good. I'll show you that later. But for now, we gotta get this floor arrangement together and this table setting together, so. I'm just gonna place you guys right here so you can watch us. Now we have to set the table. The floral arrangements are done. You guys want to see? Hey, it's like They're so awesome. cute. So we did these two that are going to go on the table. And then we have one up on the fireplace. Yes, I ironed this it. Girl, like this is it. not, oh my God, you ironed it? That's why I told her as soon as she took it off, I was like, that's not even ironed. It's fine. No. Yes, it is. You literally have to redo no that. No one told, no, re no. Literally. You have to. No, I we're not accepting. So this is the table setting. 
turned out really cute. Right, you tell them that we're ready. Here, I'll take that. Just put it back on. Yep. Are they gonna come and bring it in here? Cool. The rants, aren't they so cute? This is a video, guys. Just say hey. Hey. <laughs> alright, alright, hold on. We brought you some deliciousness you guys have, the menu. Mm-hmm. We got a fresh uh, seasoned spring mix salad mm -hmm. with feta cheese, okay. uh, some uh, strawberries and some other good things in it. Okay. Right here, we were aiming to get a seared uh, chicken okay. with uh, sweet chili and sauce with a blueberry combo. Oh, this right. is a recipe that was custom made. Right. Okay. <laughs> and daughter said, well, here's what we, I said, you know what, we'll custom make that. All right, so, awesome. We got a um, Tuscan salmon, okay. Scottish salmon from Faroe Island, Polish waters, okay. Scotland, okay. really juicy and fatty and good. Mm -hmm. Got some small petite roasted, uh, rosemary roasted potatoes. <laughs> we have a lemon zested asparagus. We got a cheesy rice bake. That looks Ooh, so good. Some uh, roasted Brussels sprouts and some homemade dinner. Ooh, all right. Yeah. Let me tell y'all how good dinner was. So good. Everyone enjoyed it. We're so full. Now it's dessert time. We have three different cakes here. This setup is actually so cute. This is the setup here. We have some family coming over for dinner. So we've got three different cakes. So we chose the Oreo cake, we chose a lemon tort, and then a Funfetti. And these are actually the original cake knives that they had at their wedding. So they're gonna use that to cut in 95, y'all see? They got married in 95. So those are the original cake knives they're gonna use to cut the cakes this evening. And then we have a champagne tower in the back that we're gonna fill up a little later. So, we're about to indulge in some cake and just chill out for the rest of the night. So, that's the vibe. You know you're not black. If, if the house party don't turn into the electric slide, y'all, I'm so weird. <laughs> Tonight, not in the living room though. Not real. <laughs> hey it's the next day. It's a whole day later. I just took this morning to like rest. We had fun last night. I was supposed to go out last night after my parents' celebration, but I was too tired. So tonight, Sunday, we're gonna go have a little Sunday fun day. I'm gonna go see Pena. We're gonna have some drinks. I'm gonna visit her at her job. We're gonna have some shots. Smoke some hookah. I got dressed, but like I don't have any long mirrors in my house. I have this like cute little sweater dress on and these high boots. They come all the way up. Like I love these boots, they're so sexy. So I'll meet you guys at the bar. <laughs> ugly in the morning good morning y'all i had fun last night i was drunk i didn't even notice i was that drunk until i woke up and i was like damn pinya was pretty lit too i should probably call her and check on her but i had a good little cute time we ended up going to some hookah bar you know i love hookah so <laughs> um 
I was actually supposed to go home today. It's Monday. I was supposed to go home today. But I guess I'll spend an extra day here with the fam bam. Since I'm not going to see them until Thanksgiving probably. So hang out for an extra day. Go home tomorrow. I feel like this vlog has been all over the place guys. I can't apologize in advance because that would have had to been at the beginning of the vlog. If you made it all the way to the end. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And turn on your post notifications so that you never miss. A video and I will see you guys on my next vlog